Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Super Guy KY, and as promised, here's the next video. So in the previous video, I showed you how to change the carburetor on a push mower. Today, we're gonna be doing three things for standard push mower maintenance, okay? Number one, we're gonna put a new air filter right on here. I'm gonna show you how to change the blade out, and we're gonna change the oil, okay? So what am I gonna be using for this? So here's everything I'm gonna be using, all right? So let's go from right to left here. So I have a standard jack stand. I think everyone's familiar with those. Whenever you're dealing with oil, it's a good idea to have some paper towels. Have your oil catch. Obviously a big jug of oil. This is empty and I'm gonna use it just to measure out how much oil I'll need. Here's my brand new blade, new air filter, braking bar, standard set of tools, a good block of wood. You always want a good block of wood when you're changing out a blade. I'll show you in a minute. And as always, have some cardboard if you're working on concrete because oil is tough to get out of concrete. So let's get started. All right, everybody, replacing this air filter right here is just about as easy as it gets. Take out this one screw, this panel comes off, filter out, new filter in. There's even an illustration on the back of the box. All you have to do is go to Lowe's or Home Depot. I found this exactly in the lawnmower section. Let's hop to it. So it is out with the old and in with the new. All that you do on this little panel, just slip it in, just like that. There it goes. And all I have to do is tighten it back on. The next thing we're gonna do change out the blade so this is about all that you do for it you flip it over okay double check and see if your blade is same size mine is got to get this off this is when you want to use your breaker bar and your block of wood this big fat bolt right here all you do is get your socket on, put your block of wood right in here, or wherever you can just wedge it, crank it out. As I'm turning this, you'll see it wedge right here, okay? Make sure you brace your little mower. There we go. Right there. Right there. And all that you do is get it off by hand once you have it loose enough. Now we can just put our new blade back on, but right around here, under this pad right here, I'm betting that's where the little drain plug is for the oil. So I'm gonna leave this off for right now. Let's go ahead and change the oil. Hey guys, it was a little hot outside, so I came into my garage to change the oil in this engine. So real quick, how do you know how much it takes? It's very simple. We have these supercomputers in our hands nowadays. So all that I did is I Googled right here. Briggs and Stratton, right there. Briggs and Stratton 650 series. You can also put 190cc if you want. So I'll show you what popped up. Right there. 15 or 18 ounces. Really easy. 
all that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my empty one and I'm going to go ahead and measure it out right here on the side from my jug, okay? So how do you even know if you need to change the oil on a push mower? So you should do it either every 50 hours or once a season, whatever comes first, okay? Right here is where you put the gasoline, obviously. Right here, I have that kind of like little pitcher or it's kind of like a thing that you see the genie in from the old Aladdin movies. That's where the oil, it even says oil right here, okay? So I'm gonna show you the difference between the old oil and the brand new oil. What's the difference? What does it look like? All right, so I think this will be pretty obvious. So here on the left, here's the brand new oil, okay? And I will get the oil on the right straight from the dipstick. So I'll go ahead and start with the brand new oil. I'll just get a little bit on my finger. Just like that. Okay. Now you can see it's not exactly a clear, but it's kind of like a gentle, gentle bronze. And you can see that right there. See that little bit of yellowing right here? Okay. Now it's brand new virgin oil, okay? This has never been in an engine. Came straight out of the bottle, okay? Now, what's it look like from here? Spin it. Gotta be careful it doesn't drip off here. Okay. That's what the used oil looks like. See how it's, well, it's basically a blue, green, dark algae color. Depending on how old the oil is or how much you've used it, if you have anything with an engine, change the oil, change the oil to make it overbearingly clear. Good, new, old, used. Bad, good. Bad, good. Change the oil. Let's hop to it. All right, to go ahead and change the oil, we have this cover right here. And there's supposed to be two of these bolts, but there's only one. Once again, I got this mower used, so I don't know the history about it. And this is a 10 millimeter because of course it is. supposed to be a second one but there's not so does this whole thing come off look at that right here there's another one hidden underneath all of the grass right here and it's the same size 10 millimeter that is two down Two of three good enough. Two of three is good enough. Now, as I spin this right here, this is caught along a belt for that main shaft, okay? You can't tell, but you see this belt right here? This belt is because there is a push assist on this lawnmower. So the self-propelled is what they call it. And it's woven inside of this little cover right here that goes on that input shaft so i'm just spinning it around to find the oil drain plug every engine has one unless i can just take this whole thing off maybe it'll actually let me actually probably not a good idea but i could do it <clears throat> There we go. All right, I just took that entire shaft off. Yeah, see, look right there. See, look right there. See how that pulley goes in there in that little way? Okay, so I can actually take this off. One second here. Should be able to just wiggle this off. I can, but I'm not going to because I still want this to work after I fix it to sell it. So let's see where the oil drain plug is. I think. It's this right here. 
And let me get something to pick that out with. Let's get a needle nose, fish that out. Yep, that is it. So something you'll notice about drain plugs on push mowers, they're not a bolt like they are on cars for the engine drain plug on the oil pan. It's a drive, okay? This is a 3 8 drive and fits right in there, okay? Now there's some crud still in there, so I'll clean that out in a minute, but it's a drive, okay? And this is just a big plug. It's not a bolt. And you don't go very deep on it. You can't tell, but only about maybe 3 8 of an inch and a 3 8 drive. Just enough to get that ball to compress right here. So I'm going to get this up my jack stands. Let's go ahead and drain the oil out of this. Okay, so I know getting a push mower up on jack stands is pretty awkward. So here's the best way that I found to do it. You get the front two stands. So these two right here. You come up on them like this. You tilt it up and you rest it right here, you rest it on the front of the mower. Then what you have to do is get down on one knee, using right here on the handle, you lift it up, and you get one underneath, then you get the other. Then you're good, okay? So once you're here, cardboard underneath, catch can, you are ready to drain the oil. So it's a dip, it's an awkward angle, but I'll do my best to get good lighting on that plug and show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, this holds 16 quarts. I really don't care about this little half a quart. So I'm just gonna let this sit until next time I change oil in my truck. But whenever you do this, you have to take the old used oil and send it to AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto Parts, something like that. They take it for free, okay? You should not take this and dump it in your yard or down the sink. Never do that, ever. Let's drain the oil. All right, once again, guys, it's tough to get a perfect angle, but right here, okay? Right there, that's our drain plug, okay? Now, before you do this, make sure you do. Go ahead and open this up, let it sit. This allows air in the crankcase, Let's the oil flow out smooth, okay? Right about there. It's about the best angle I can give you. In general, your extension. Spin your socket wrench a little bit to line it up. Get this crud off of it. Now you may have to do what I'm doing. So I'm pushing up with my left hand here. And I have to push down on the mower itself to make sure I get a good seat. There, I'm seated, and now you don't need a breaker bar. These aren't on too tight. See, just like that, just like that. Now these are not very, these aren't very deep, okay? These are not threaded very deep. You gotta be careful you don't let the whole thing fall out, okay? Once you get it about Probably a good four turns, you can do the rest by hand, okay? Then we get to the hard part. Okay, about there. Let me zoom in right here. Right about there. When you get to about that, and then you can do this by hand. Okay? Go by hand just like that. Okay, now it's about to start dripping oil, so be careful. Okay, so with one hand, be very gentle. And you're going to see this old, it's about to start coming. It's about to start dripping on me here. Now, the number one thing you never do, you never let the drain plug go into the pan. You have to hold this with your hands, okay? See? It's all it's about to come out. You gotta be gentle. There's gonna be oil flowing out. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Now you keep spinning until you can feel it snap over like you're cross threading. Okay, right there, right there. I felt it. And now I'm going to just remove it just like that. Okay, it's one seamless motion, all right? You can't tell, but this is very old, crummy, blue green oil. 
And you can look right at that on my hand. See, that's old, bad, bad oil, very bad. Let's go ahead and clean this up with a paper towel. Now remember, you're not gonna get 100% of it. You may get 95 to 98%, whatever it is, but you will never drain out 100% of the oil. Car, lawnmower, diesel truck, doesn't matter. You will never get 100% of the oil out. Okay guys, while I'm letting the oil drain out of the lawnmower over there, let's go ahead and get ready to fill it back up with oil. So remember, I said you never get 100% of it out, and you don't, but you get close. So right here is my gauge. This side is ounces. This side is milliliters. You can see that kind of right there. There's 28 ounces right there. Right here is 800 milliliters. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out 22, 18, 14. So it said in between 15 to 18 ounces. I'm gonna put it in the middle, call it about 16 and a half. So what you can do is go get a funnel from your big jug right here into your little one that you're using as a measuring cup. I'm on cardboard, I'm in my garage, I really don't care. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. Nice and easy. And remember, it's a whole lot easier to keep inching it, inching it, inching it until you're at your number rather than going back and forth, okay? So go ahead and inch it, inch it, inch it, little bit, little bit, little bit until you have exactly what you need. What am I at right here? I'm at a hot dog. I know my hand isn't perfectly level, but right there is 18. And I'm just a little bit below it. So, well, good for me. You rarely get it right on the first time. Check that out. I am pretty close on the first time. So, yeah, good for me. I've been doing a lot of things all my life. So, I'm finally seeing the fruits of my labor. So, alrighty. Let's go ahead and get the drain plug in and get this in the lawnmower. Now, remember... Before you put this little plug back in the lawnmower, grab a paper towel, go ahead and wipe it off, okay? Just a good wipe off. Make sure it's clean to give you a good seal. Let's get it back in. All right, so this is drop in just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my little wad of paper towels right here. I'm gonna go ahead and Wipe that just a little bit, a little bit, and right when I'm done with this, ah. okay, right when I'm done with this, we go ahead and put the drain plug back in. Screw it. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Should go in nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, real easy, just like that. Now, all you do, get your socket wrench with your extension. 3 8 is what mine is, 3 8 drive. Plug it in. Ah, there we go. Now, this will start off by hand. Okay, nice and easy. And not too tight. Obviously, you don't want it all to all leak out because that'll destroy your engine. The old saying oil is cheap, engines are expensive. So you just want this a good snug. All right, that's definitely snug enough. You can see it's flush right here. A little bit of oil. Okay, not much. That's good. Let's pour it back in. So you can see my drip pan right here. There wasn't a whole lot of space for it to splash, but yeah, this there was only about maybe half of a quart that came out. So make sure you take this to your recycling center. Once again, your old used oil, go ahead and take some paper towels, 
scrape and wipe all this off, clean it up, take it to your local recycling center. So this is our pre-measured out amount that we have right in here. I'm gonna set this right to the side. Here's where you pour the oil in. Now this is such a large opening that I could actually take the whole bottle and fit it in there. But remember, there's all this old oil on the dipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off, pour the new oil in. You can see a little more of that bluish green on the old oil here. So this is all wiped off. Now this is an old school thing, but if you don't know how much oil to put in, what you can do is you can go right there. You can see right on the left side, it says add right there, add, then there's a the cross hatch, then there's full. So you want it in that cross hatch, okay? Now I know exactly how much to put in, so that doesn't apply to me. Let's go ahead and fill her up. You can see that kind of bronze color, light bronze. That is what beautiful new oil is supposed to look like. Pour it in slow, don't pour it in fast. Pour it in too fast, it could bubble up. Kind of like diesel fuel that foams up. Now you can slowly spin it. See, I'm slowly spinning the bottle. Okay. No. Just dripping. Just dripping. Get all of it in. Then, that's all there is to it. Take your dipstick. Right there. Okay. Spin it. Let's see where it is on the little dipstick. And we are. Hmm. I have to add a little bit actually. Do these drips make any difference? No, it's completely empty. All right, I'm gonna run it a little bit, then I'll check it again. All right guys, so oil is back in. I put this cover back on. It's out with the old blade and with the new. This isn't anything fancy, I just grabbed a 21 inch blade off of Lowe's, okay? So all I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'll actually pop some holes on this really quick, just like that. Pop that in. Okay, just like that. Now, off the bat, I'm gonna finger tighten this bolt, but remember, need a block of wood, need a breaker bar. This will start spinning. This one hasn't started spinning on me yet. And let it catch. There we go. Now, go ahead and feed this wherever you can get it. So it's got to wedge itself in. This will get a real tight bolt right here. Right there. Right there. It's pretty darn tight. Now, nope. back it off. Just like that. What you can do, some other guys do, they go like this. And you just hold this on. Okay, just like that. So you see how it'll wedge itself in when it gets to a corner, just like that. See, you can do that too. Either way, either way works. So, blades back on, air filter changed, oil changed, oil refilled. Let's go ahead and start her up. Don't forget to prime the carburetor. See if it starts.
Hey guys, thanks for watching all of the video. So just as a refresher, we changed the air filter, changed the oil, and we put a new blade on it, okay? So what I was going to show was putting a new spark plug on, but it's really this simple. You pop off this ignition coil, just like that. You unscrew that with a socket, and then you put a new one back on. Then you pop the coil back on. I thought that was too simple to show, so I didn't show it. So next videos coming up, I'm gonna use this entire maintenance kit on my Cub Cadet ride mower. So this is the pre-filter, the air filter. This is their special oil filter, two new spark plugs, two quarts of oil, and a new fuel filter. This was about $51 at Tractor Supply. So I think it's a good deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this on my Cub Cadet lawn mower. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to comment and see me do special things, do drywall, electrical things, we're almost to the car stuff yet, guys, so stay with me. There's a lot more coming. And remember, be super today.